All right, to start off, I'm going to be using these two bits. The one on the left is an eighth inch end mill. I'm going to use that for the area clearance. The one on the right is a 90 degree V bit. Both of them are quarter inch shank, but this will work even if you have to put in a collet and take it out. I just didn't want to have to mess with it for this. To start this off, I want to start off with a little on the carb I'd create side. I'm running the February 4th, 2022 build. And I've noticed when I moved over some of my files from previous versions, down here under machine, I had Shipoko XXL. It's not an option anymore. So what I did was I took two of the files that I've used that, that had different operations, different tool paths. I pulled them in. I selected Spoko 3. I changed some tool paths, generated the G-code, changed them back the way they were, regenerated the G-code. And I did that for both files and all six machines. And what I found was it didn't matter. It generated the exact same G code. I don't know if there's some difference if you start off from scratch or you know something I'm not doing in Carbide Create, but from what I've seen, it doesn't matter if your machine's not listed or what machine you pick because it's generating the same G code. Your mileage may vary. But for this, we're going to import a star. And this star right now, I believe, about five inches, I think. Yeah, five inches. We're going to pull that down to, say, two inches. Don't really need to show anything other than the tool change. And this will let us see the, the pocketing or the area clearance. Okay, I am going to enable the pocket tool. I'm going to use my that eighth inch end mill. Here's my 90 degree V bit. I'm not going to change the speeds just because it's not really worth it. I'll speed it up if I need to. Tool path is star. Okay. Go down to all. All it's going to be doing is doing a little star. Won't mean anything, but it'll give us the tool change in the G code. We'll name this star, 8 inch end mill, 90 degree V bit, advanced V carve. And that's all that we're going to do. Now, uh, what I do want to show. Open Notepad. We'll look at that NC file. This is the G code. M0 is what Carbide Create puts in for tool changes. And M0 is a pause command. So here is our first tool. Everything before the semicolon is the command. There's our first tool. There's our second, second tool. And you can see that it says star V. I'm going to change this to uh, 90 degree V bit. And we will not see this when we run this file through G Sender. The reason is this is not going to prompt G Sender to do the tool change code. It's going to Say we've reached an M0, we're going to pause and press resume. 
but it's that pause that's going to let us re-zero our Z probe, our Z axis with the probe. If I go over here, I've already zeroed my X and Y. I'm running a scrap piece of panel that I have. Here's our G code, and there's our star. So I'm going to go over now and zero my Z, and we'll be ready to go. Okay, I've got the eighth inch end null in here. I made no attempt to get it anywhere close to where this one might be because it's not necessary. We'll go ahead and probe this and get started with the area clearance. Do our continuity test. And no probe. All right. I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to let it go ahead and do its area clearance. And we'll pick back up when we hit the M0. Running without a dust shoe on this, dust collection. So it's a little easier to see. We'll pick back up over on G Sunder. We've hit the M0. There's that M0 command that I pointed out in the G code that just pauses. It will not go in here to the tool change selection. So if you're planning on using this, you will need to change that M0. Where I, where I added the description of 90 degree V bit, I need to change that M0 to an M6 in order for that to run. But right now we're just going to move, move it up a little bit. Then I'll move it to 1-1. One, one. You can see over here it tells you it started running that macro. Now we'll come over here to the router. We'll change out the bit. Put in the 90. Trying to get it up in there pretty good ways since it's a shorter bit. Okay. Now we put a probe down. I'm pretty pretty much could been anywhere because that probe's got plenty of room. Make sure you put that magnet on because there is no continuity test in this. But now I'll lower it back down a little bit. 
and run the probe. And there we go, we have zeroed R90. And I'll keep quiet as it finishes up. Again. That's it. Move it out of the way. You got a little enough to get out of there because no dust collection. But the V bit went down to the exact right depth match our area clearance thanks to that macro being able to probe the Z on the tool change okay after the tool change I just clicked resume and it went back and finished the other tool path with the V bit and you can see I've got my nice sharp corners and the V-bit went down to the perfect depth to finish that off. So the tool change worked flawlessly. And this can work when you have more than, the, you know, an advanced V-carve, you can put all your tool paths in one. And I actually much prefer the macros to tool change because I can go in and modify the macros before I run them if I need to. Maybe maybe when I pulled it down to 1-1, one, one, it would have been better if I went up, you know, to 4-4 four, four or, or something else. I could, I could look at that before I ran the macro, edit it, save the changes, and then run it. But this has worked great. It lets me do bit changes and re-zeroing with the touch plate without having to invest in collets for what I'm doing right now. And that's about it. Now what I will say is if I were to change the M6 this is the exact code I've got in the two macros. I did change this from X2, Y2, to X1, Y1 because of the size of the star. But you can set this to ignore manual encode. I've actually, I'm testing this with different stuff, but this macro code will not work. In the tool change the move I think it sticks to millimeters instead of absolute inches but the zero it will zero it but when it sets the it sets it wrong so I'm, I'm sure there's something I'm missing there and obviously all this is moot if you use either the exact same size bit and you always put it in the same way or you use a collet system but when you're when you're wanting to run multiple tool paths with multiple tools if you leave the g-code alone 
that Carbide Create puts out and just have it pause these two macros will let you re-zero your tool. And that's all I've got for today. You have any questions, comments, any other ways that you found maybe something in what I need to do for the tool change code, leave it below in the comments. If you like this video, i appreciate it if you like, share, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. And we'll talk to you in the next one. Till next time.